Hey guys, it's John from Dragonfly. So today we're gonna to be unboxing, and this is a little bit of a spontaneous video. I wasn't planning on doing this, but I just figured uh, as I was taking this thing out of the box, you probably haven't seen one of these before, at least I haven't seen one. So I wanted to show you what's in the box and what you would even use it for. This is a JE Mobile NVMe M.2 to USB 3.1 Type-C adapter. Uh, if that isn't a niche product, I don't know what is. It was a, almost 70 bucks, so this wasn't cheap. Uh, and let's go ahead and open it and see what's in the box. We got a customer service card. I'm not going to worry about that. We have a USB 3.1 to Type-C adapter. Uh, not very long, so that's going to be an issue. A uh, bunch of tiny screws and a tiny screwdriver and probably some kind of an instruction manual. Probably not going to be looking at that too much. And then we have the, uh, the case. It looks like a heat sink too. So, I mean, it is made for an M.2 drive and they do get hot. So, um, this is going to be interesting. Let's um, get that a little bit better focused here. Toolbox. So we'll start by opening the uh, what looks to be the actual case itself. And there you go. It's uh, red. Sorry, I got to get out of the light. Lighting is really tough for me. I'm not very good at it. So uh, you got a nice looking red case. It's held together with a couple rubber bands. And. Whew, there is your adapter. There's your M.2 adapter. Uh, obviously the drive goes there. And your USB-C connection uh, right there. Sorry, I, I just, I'm not good with lighting. So that's that. And now I see we definitely got ourselves a heat sink here. So there's the heat sink. Interesting to see where that goes. And this is just uh, like tape for the heat sink. Um, so I am probably going to be looking for instructions at this point because I want to make sure I do this right. I'm trying to figure out where this heat sink's even going to go. It can't possibly go there. Maybe it goes on the bottom. I'm thinking maybe it goes like that find out in a minute and then we have all of our little screwdrivers and stuff so I've got better tools than uh, <laughs> baby's first Phillips head uh, but I, don't know, I guess at least they give you some and this just looks like more tape Yep, it is. Whoops. Okay, don't open that. Uh, so this is not instructions. So um, this didn't come with instructions. I guess you're kind of on your own to figure out. You got um, four tiny screws, two uh, what look to be kind of hard drive, typical hard drive style screws. Uh, you get your two. I'm sure these are like... Um, M.2 uh, standoffs, I think they're called. I usually, I was going to say jack stands. And uh, that's kind of it. So uh, I guess I'm on my own to figure out how all this stuff goes together. I'm assuming the heat sink goes on the bottom because there's no text or anything on the bottom here. Um, and you have. Uh, you do have a logo and an arrow on the on the top, so I, I wouldn't assume you'd want to be covering that up with the heatsink. Uh, and then inside, you just have this um, this, this thing is loose. I mean, this would come this would come out right now. So obviously, this needs to be secured. So uh, I may go looking for some uh, some assembly instructions here. And, uh, and come back and put it together. Hang on. Okay, now this just went from an unboxing video to probably a tutorial video because uh, 
This didn't come with any instructions. I went to the website, no instructions there. And I searched YouTube and nothing there. Um, so I think this may end up being the only YouTube video that actually shows people how to do this. And uh, I just wanted to have it out there in case somebody runs into the same thing that I did. Cause you get a kit, you have different kinds of screws, you have different kinds of standoffs, you have this giant heat sink and you have, you know, one piece of tape that's obviously for the heat sink, but then you have other pieces of uh, tape and I wasn't exactly sure where they went. Um, obviously it's all for cooling. So I will tell you this, these two standoffs that it come with, these uh, tiny little standoffs, well, hold on. The reason why you'd even want one of these or need one of these, for, at least for me in my case, is that I've been sitting on this 970 Pro for a couple months now. You know, it's, I paid 500 bucks for the drive and I haven't really had the time or the motivation to swap it out of my computer. And I have an issue because the, uh, the current, there's only one M.2 slot in the actual computer and uh, M.2 duplicators are expensive, they're hundreds of dollars. So the fix is that you buy uh, an adapter kit like this where I can hook that drive into a USB-C slot and then I can clone my current M.2 to this M.2 and then I can theoretically swap them if this all works and then I'll be using a 970 Pro. Won't that be nice? Sure. Uh, so I get this adapter straight from China, no instructions and nothing online. So I tinkered with it for about an hour and I finally figured, I think I've got it figured out. So that's what I want to show anybody here. So I think that these two standoffs are for the different size um, NVMe and M.2, different size than this, uh, which is the larger, this is the largest size that uh, this can accommodate, as you can see. Uh, and it goes, you know, it, it goes right out to the end, which you can obviously see, right? We're going to get to that in a minute, so I'll, I'll give you plenty of uh, airspace with that. So here's the deal. When it comes, the adapter itself is not attached to the case at all. And what we found out is that this is all copper cooling right here, there. And then on this side, it's all copper cooling. And it basically already has a built-in standoff for like a full-size NVMe right there drive. So what I was playing around with the whole time was just trying to figure out how to get the standoff to work with, uh, with my drive because it didn't make any sense. Um, and yeah, so this is going to be, it's going to go on this side, right? And then this goes on this side. Sorry. I just want to make sure I get the orientation right. Yeah. Okay. So long story short, for a full size NVMe, like uh, a 970 Pro or a 960 Pro, or even a, a, a an Evo version, all you're going to do is you're going to put in your M.2 drive and you're just gonna use one of these two uh, kind of like hard drive style screws right here. Not the super thin one, okay? Because there's two different kinds of screws. You have a super thin one and then you have like a typical hard drive style screw. So, oh, of course, yeah, I'm really kicking ass on this video, huh? Wow. Okay. These tiny screws right here, these tiny long ones, they go into the case itself after you've mounted the hard drive in it and they uh, keep the case together. These, uh, these like hard drives, typical hard drive style screws, like this one with the long flat head, come on, let me flip it around. That, you just use one of those to secure your M.2 into the adapter itself. It goes right here and that, is all you need to do for a full size M.2. These standoffs are probably for different size drives and I'm not gonna use them. So we're gonna just, they're out of the picture now. Um, so here's the other question mark, right? You get these little cooling strips. That's what these are. They're adhesive cooling strips and they're supposed to go on the, uh, you know, because this is sitting in like this. It's sitting in the case like this. And this is important because these drives do give off a lot of heat. You don't want to fucking fry your brand new hard drive. Okay, a $500 hard drive in this case. So what you're going to do is we're going to put these little adhesive strips on the bottom of the adapter underneath. So down there. And then we're also going to put them here. And then they say also to put them on the M.2 drive itself because the top of the M.2 drive, let me insert it here, 
is going to be touching the top of the adapter. So we've got to dissipate that heat out too. So I'm not wild about putting adhesives on this thing right now, but whatever, I can take them off, I guess, right? So I guess that's what we're going to do. So we're in this together. I've never done this before. This isn't, this isn't exactly my uh, forte, this kind of stuff. So let's learn. One strip, they're super sticky. And then we got another strip. So this is gonna actually, I think, have them make contact with, you know, I'm not covering anything up. Um, that's actually gonna have them make contact with the sides of the, of the case and the M.2 drive itself. So, I mean, this is nothing but copper cooling. You can see the other holes are for the smaller M.2s. Um, I don't know, they said to put one there too. Uh, whoops, wow, I'm a, I'm a winner. Um, I'm gonna hold off on that. Well, right. so. That's the top. So this is going to be the bottom. Uh, that's how that goes. So then these strips are going to con uh, these strips are going to contact the bottom. Now there's nothing on the bottom of the drive, so that really doesn't matter. The top is what matters. So there's your memory right there. That and that is your actual. That's the actual memory, the MAND or whatever on the on the solid state. And I think that's actually the controller right there. So we're going to have to put some. Uh, adhesives, adhesives on those as well. So I'm now in just inserting the drive as you normally would. We're going to lock it down and then I'm going to grab this screw that we were that I showed you earlier and we're going to put it in and I'm sorry for anybody that wanted like a quick how to do this in two seconds. If I had done it a hundred times already I would have made you a 30 second video but this is my first time doing it and uh, I'm kind of figuring it out as I go. So there you go. So you can see just that one single screw is all it needed. And now we're fastened and you can also see that there's some contact being made with those little sticky things that we just put on. So before I run out of sticky here, let's put a couple more on. So these are gonna go here. And these are gonna be coming off when I'm done with this, that's for sure, but anyway. Okay, so now we get that, and then we can put the case together. So you can see there's a, a notch there, and that's been my, my main thing that I've been dealing with here. So now the case is together. We got the M.2 drive going on in its, in its adapter. And so now we gotta put these little screws. I can't believe I'm using this baby screwdriver, but I have a much better screwdriver for stuff like this, but it's in my truck. I don't feel like getting it. So I'm gonna use babies first, Phillips head, and put these four together. Um, and, oops. Probably the best way to do is to just start them all this way. And I'm debating this heat sink, so I'm gonna think about that while I put these other screws in. Okay, so now we have a secure case. There we go. Uh, we got our USB-C connection right there. Um, and there's supposedly an LED. I'm just kind of pushing it tight. Supposedly there's an LED in the back that, um, I'm sorry, I really suck with lighting, but uh, that can you know kind of give you an indication of 
what's going on. Now they give you the shortest, um, there we go, more screws, right? They give you the shortest, it's, it's like a one, not even maybe a one foot, like a nine inch cable. So there's your USB-C on one side and USB-3 on the other. And from what I'm reading online, you gotta better make sure that this is going into an actual USB-3 slot or else I don't, I'm not sure that this works too well. So hook that up. So the big question mark is if I'm going to put this heat sink on, it should go right there. I'm not going to put it on the bottom because then I'd never be able to get the screws out. I'll never be able to get this drive out. And if I put it on the top, I'm kind of blocking the um, logo and the, the thing telling you what direction to go in. But I don't really see. I don't think that's a big deal. So what the hell? Let's throw it on. I mean, I got it as part of the kit. So um, we'll just do that and uh, we'll call it a day. Um, we'll, we'll get on with the program so it's like a giant thing of thermal paste basically it's like self-contained thermal paste so let's get it on there put this Use uh, this kind of a. I mean, I probably didn't do the best job in the world. But I don't know. It was a little extra at the end. The mileage may vary with that. I can probably just rip it off. Yeah, it just rips off. So there you go. So there you go. We've got the adapter done, uh, and that was a little bit more of an adventure than I was uh, expecting. Um, you know, the big question is kind of if I have to use this again, I'd have to get more of this sticky stuff because it's all going to be on uh, this hard drive now. Um, but anyway, that's it. So now we're gonna get on with uh, cloning the actual drive. All right, um, thanks for watching.